Hello! In this video, we are going to learn about our new product Bot Console and our latest robot type application robots. This will be only an introductory video, so we will dive into technical details in the upcoming videos. Currently, we have two types of robots. A development robot cannot be scheduled or cannot be used to watch triggers. It can only be used for developing flows and typically used on the RPA developer's machine. On the other hand, a production robot is utilized at the production environment. Flows can be scheduled on these robots at specific times and production robots can also watch multiple triggers in the background while running a flow. But both of these two types of robots can run any flow from Flow Designer. With Bot Console, we are introducing a new type of robot, and that is application robots. An application robot is limited to run only one flow that is assigned from admin console, cannot be scheduled or cannot watch triggers. They also cannot be managed from the admin console robot screen. Instead, they are created on the fly when you create an instance of your bot in bot console. We will now see how this works. Now let's go to the designer and see the two flows I have created to show you two types of bots. The first one is a select channel user extractor flow. It needs three parameters. The first parameter is the Slack URL, the cookie, and the channel we are going to scrape. I have created a version for this. We are going to be using V1. And let's go to the bot screen from admin console. When you click add bot, you will see this pop up. We are going to be first creating a headless bot. A headless bot means this bot doesn't have an application UI. It just starts and finishes and then creates a file as a result. Now let's fill these fields. This will be called select channel user extractor. Let's call this and create a description here. Info from a select channel. Let's select the flow here, our version, and we can pick an item. This is an, a select icon I have found on the internet. Now let's click create here. Now when you create this bot, you will see this in bot console. The icon comes from the setup we did previously. The next thing we are going to do is click the setup button and we are going to be adding a custom setup screen for this bot. This is similar to forms. We are also using here JSON forms. So we have two fields, select channel and cookie. This is the layout of these. And let's click save here and then cancel. Now, when we go back to bot console, we can start this bot. But before that, we will configure it. If you click to this bot, you will come to the screen. We don't have any instances of this bot yet. Here you will see a button named create instance. When you click this, this will create an instance of this bot. And this is where an application robot is created. When you go back to admin console and robot screen, you will see a new type of robot here, the application robot. If you delete this one, the admin console robot screen won't be showing this anymore. You can edit the name of this. Let's call this XYZ. And when you save this and refresh this page, the robot will be renamed also. 
The next thing we are going to do is configure this instance. Here we will click the setup and you will see the parameters we have given to the admin console both screen from the both screen. I will enter the select URL we are going to scrape and the channel and I will paste the cookie also and I will save this. Now we are ready to run this instance. Let's click here. When you press play, you will see two options. The first one is cloud run. The second one is desktop run. We haven't connected the robot from desktop. That's why this is disabled. You can connect the application robot like any other robot from a desktop with command line or you can use the desktop application. We are going to use cloud run here. Now I'm going to press this one. Now the robot will be started on our robot cluster and it will start running. And now it started. These logs are coming from the flow. We are going to wait for this flow to finish. And now it is completed. We can now go to the history tab and click here. We can see the logs. We can download the logs. And when we go to the results tab, we can see the output of this bot. And if we, if we download it, we can see the scraped results here. Now we will see the other type of bot that has a UI application. Now for that, I am first going to show you how the flow looks like. We are going to be using the assistant package here to create an assistant flow. So this is a flow I have created for the LTD upgrade options. We have again created a version here and published that version. Now I'm going to go to the bot screen again and I will click the add bot button here. Now. I will uncheck this because our bot has an application. These bots can use the applications from repositories that you provided. If you write an application for yourself for the bot, you can use that application. We will show how to create your own applications. For now, in our repository, we only have one application. I will choose that and let's rename this and let's call this ltd upgrade assistant and let's call this my first assistant bot again i will select the published flow the version and also i will pick an icon for this bot and when you press create let's go back to bot console again you will see the new bot here let's click the bot icon here again we need to create an instance the instances are limited by your application robot licenses so if you have three application robots, you can create no more than three instances of uh, any bot. These are counted globally, uh, but if you delete this, this instance and then you can create another instance from another bot. And when we click here, we will see a new button here. This is disabled right now because the bot is not running currently. These, this button is only seen if your bot has an application assigned to it from admin console. Now let's run this bot.
now this application open app button is enabled let's click this one and we will see the application opening and it will connect with the bot behind it running we can see the chat bubbles here coming and you can interact with this robot let's write a fake license here and you can see that it couldn't find this this is also created within a flow we can see the flow here it first shows the logo and then shows the text info and it is a regular flow that just uses the assistant package we will go deeper in this uh, flows in later videos and we will see how to create this assistant uh, flows later but as you can see this is another type of bot that you can create in bot console and we can stop this one we can also make this uh, make this assistant bot publicly available if you press publish button here if you see this green colored corner this means uh, your bot is publicly available uh, from internet before that you can only use this assistant if you are logged into your workspace but if you publish this then your uh, your url will be reachable from anywhere and uh, anybody so this is how bot console works again uh, we will be recording more videos and showing you how to create your headless bots or create your assistance bots in detail so thank you for watching